In this video, we're going to continue our discussion with the binomial probability distribution. Before we get to that, let's get to the cumulative probability function, or CDF. This computes probabilities less than or equal to a specific value. In other words, it is a cumulative total. So when we put these particular problems in the calculator, it has to be in one of two forms. Either the probability of x is equal to x, or the probability of x has got to be less than or equal to x. It must be in one of these two particular forms. So this would be the PDF, this would be the CDF. Now, how do we put this in? If it's a PDF or equal to ex an exact value, it'll be binome PDF n comma p comma x. If it's a CDF, it'll be binome CDF n comma p comma x. Okay, let's take a look at an example. So three out of four American adults under the age of 35 have eaten pizza for breakfast. If a random sample of 10 adults under the age of 35 is selected, determine the following probabilities. Okay, so I'm going to write out the four criteria to verify that this is a binomial experiment before we go any further. So I'll write those out now. Okay, so the experiments done 10 times are a finite number of times. The trials are independent. Each response does not have any effect on the next person responding, whether they've had pizza for breakfast or not. There's two mutually exclusive outcomes, yes or no, and the probability of success is always three-fourths, which is the same thing as 0.75, which is given here. The other thing I want to check, I'll do this up here, I want to check that n times p times 1 minus p is going to be less than 10. Well, in this case, the n is 10, 10 people surveyed, probability of success is 0.75, Failure 1 minus p, that's 0.25, should be less than or equal to 10. Putting that into the calculator, that's 1.875 is less than 10, which is good. Okay, now let's take a look at each particular piece. So exactly six adults under the age of 35 have eaten pizza. Okay, so the probability, p, that's 0.75, we know that the x is 6, because it's exactly 6, and then n is the number of times, well again that's given as 10. So this is a binome PDF, and I know it's a PDF because it's exactly 6. So I write it as 10 comma 0.75 comma 6. Okay, let's put this into the calculator now. Okay, so how do we put this in? Hit second, VARS. That'll get us to all the different distributions. We want binome PDF in this case. So that's letter A, hit enter. The number of trials, that's 10, hit enter. P is 0.75, hit enter. X value is 6, hit enter. Highlight, paste, hit enter. Once this comes up, hit enter again and rounding it to four decimal places, that's going to be 0.1460. So let's put that on the paper now. Okay, so putting that on our paper, that's approximately 0 0.1460. So now I'm going to write out what the conclusion to what this means in the context of the problem now. So in 100 trials of this experiment, we would expect about 15 trials where 6 out of 10 people have eaten pizza for breakfast. Well, how am I getting that? I'm taking the decimal 0 0.1460, multiplying it by 100, or moving it, the decimal over two places to the right and rounding to the nearest integer. So 14.6, that's closer to 15. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So fewer than three adults under the age of 35 have eaten pizza for breakfast. So this is the probability of x is less than 3. The problem is that's not less than or equal to. Remember, since we're dealing with discrete, there's no numbers in between 2 and 3. So this is the same thing as the probability is less than or equal to 2. Now, how do I do that? Because it's less than or equal to, this is a binome CDF. 
it's still going to be 10, comma, it's still going to be 0.75, comma, but notice here, less than or equal to 2, so this is going to be 2 and not 3. Okay, I'll show you how to put this into the calculator now. Okay, so putting in the binome CDF is exactly the same as the binome PDF. Second and VARS. So this time around, we're looking for binome CDF. So for me, that's letter B. So for us, that's going to be 10, enter, 0.75, hit enter. And the X value is going to be 2, hit enter. Highlight, paste, hit enter, hit enter again. Now, remember, this actually means times 10 to the negative fourth. Remember, that's scientific notation. That means I've got to move the decimal four places to the left. So I'll need three zeros as placeholders. So that should be 0 0.004. So let's write that on our paper now. So again, it's approximately 0 0.0004. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. So part C, at least one adult under the age of 35 have eaten pizza for breakfast. Well, that is originally the probability is x is greater than or equal to 1. Again, we don't have anything greater than or equal to. I need to change that to less than or equal to. So how do I do that? I'm going to write out its complement. So its complement is 1 minus the probability is x is less than 1. Remember, the original and its complement should have nothing in common. Well, again, the problem is I can't do x is less than 1. So that's the same thing as the probability is x is less than or equal to 0. So this is what I will use here. Well, how do I write that into the calculator? That's going to be 1 minus binome CDF. It's still going to be 10, comma, 0.75, comma, 0, because here's where my less than or equal to is going to be. Okay, let's put that in the calculator now. Okay, so first, before you do anything else, 1 minus, and then go second, VARS, and we'll do binome CDF, and enter. So again, the trials are 10, P is 0.75, the X is now 0. Highlight, paste, hit enter. You can see the 1 minus binome CDF. Here, instead of rounding to four decimal places, I'm going to include all the 9s and the first non-9 decimal here. I'm going to write on my paper 0 0.9999990. So let's put that on the paper now. Okay, so I've written that out here. Okay, let's take a look at part D. So exactly two adults under the age of 35 have not eaten pizza for breakfast. All right. So there's two different ways I can write this. Either x equal to 2 has not eaten pizza, or x equal to 8 has eaten pizza pizza for breakfast. So if we did this, n would still equal 10. Now we're talking about not eating pizza, so that would be the 1 minus 0 0.75, that'd be 0 0.25. Okay. And we know x is equal to 2. So that would be binome pdf of 10, 0.25, 2. Now, let's do the other one, and then I'll put both of these into the calculator. So this would be binome PDF, because remember, it's an exact number. So it still would be 10. Here, the probability would be 0.75, and here, x is going to equal 8. Okay. So I'm going to put both of these into the calculator now to show you we should get the same answer. Okay, so I'll show you one more time how to put these in. So second and VARS, it's going to be binome PDF. So I'll do the 10.25 and 2 first. And we see we get approximately 0.2816. Now let's put the other binome PDF that we did. So again, second, VARS. 
here it's going to be what? 10.75 and then 8. Highlight the paste, hit enter. And notice exactly the same answer for both of these problems. So let's put that on our paper now. Okay, so I've written out for both of these. The answer to four decimal places would be 0 0.2816.